Not all men. What was your first time having sex like? Having a bit of WKD. <laughs> Period nightmares. My name is Alessia. Today I'm gonna to be answering some girly questions. If you're a guy and you wanna watch this too, please go ahead. Just know that I'm gonna be talking about, you know, periods and all that. Not that you should be repulsed by that. I hate it when guys are repulsed by periods. I'm gonna speak as openly and honestly as I can. It's gonna get juicy. We're gonna talk about some salty stuff. The first question is, what stresses you out? Many things. <laughs> I have anxiety. But a thing that stresses me out, and I'm sure it stresses out so many other girls, is walking alone. So whether that be in the evening, in the daytime, it doesn't matter what time of day, I'm I'm always on alert. I'm always, I always feel unsafe. And that's, yeah, something that really stresses me out. So I'll, I'll always get really sweaty when I'm on walks, even if it's freezing cold, because I'm suddenly like this, like panicking. Your thoughts on how the female body is portrayed in the media. Is that what it says? Yeah. I have a degree in media and communication and I did so many essays on this kind of stuff. There's this kind of learned behaviour and this pattern. Men treat women in very like harmful ways that, you know, that as if they're just, you know, a sexual object, something to be stared at and ogled at. And um, the media perpetuates this behaviour by normalising it and showing it on screen and glamorising it. Um, but also like vice versa, like young boys are learning to behave like this by watching films or TV series and they're seeing it happen and it's it's almost like applauded it, it makes it normal men are taught to objectify women from such an early age to stare and reduce women to merely a, a sexual object I think the way that the female body is portrayed in the media is damaging and harmful because it normalizes sexist behaviors towards women for example in so many films there are scenes that are purely dedicated to showcasing a woman's body, not in an empowering way, but in like a really invasive way, like as if they're kind of like peeping around the corner. It's kind of like um, Laura Mulvey's male gaze theory, basically. The media has a lot to answer for. Any funny period nightmares? I mean, this is very personal, but I started really late. One of my best friends at the time um, at school actually told like loads of people. I remember a guy coming up to me and being like, have you really not started your period yet? And I, I'm smiling now. I remember being distraught. I was so embarrassed. And I remember going home and like, I even told my dad, usually you, know, you don't really talk about periods with your dad. And again, that's another, because guys think it's icky, which is a little rubbish. Like your dad should be just as comfortable to talk about it with you as your mum. But anyway, I go off on a tangent. Um, I remember going to tell my dad and my dad, what did he say? It really like reassured me because I was in like floods of tears. Oh yeah, I think he said, um, those who flower later wilt later. And it was just, it was just nice. It was comforting. I'm not saying there's any truth to it or anything. I say guys, like I'm, I'm generalizing a bit, but um, a lot of guys, um, not all men, don't get me started. <laughs> a lot of guys don't really allow space for women to talk about these things that happen to a lot of us every month, which is, why can't we talk about it without them going, Ugh, you're the blob. Get lost. Oh my gosh, I've just remembered when I actually started my period. That night I had like, I think it was my first, no, no, it wasn't my first, but I had a house party. And it was like a big party, like everyone had been hyping up for weeks. You know, I was planning on having a bit of WKD. <laughs> it was like stay the night kind of vibe. Oh my God. Oh my God. They had no sanitary bin. What are some of your favorite ways to refresh when you're feeling burned out? I kind of, for a while, I'll neglect the fact that I'm feeling burnt out and I'll like, keep being productive because I've got a productivity complex where I just, I need to be doing stuff all the time. Otherwise I feel super guilty. It is productive to relax and do things for yourself because then you'll produce better work later. Things that I do do is meditate. I go for walks, really long walks with my favorite music and I'll like envision myself living my best life. <laughs> I think everyone does that. Everyone like when they listen to music, 
they like imagine themselves like singing on stage or something. That's not mine. Although I do that from time to time. I just envision myself like doing a TED talk, sort of speaking about like women's rights. I also find like getting lost in a TV series is a really good way to kind of just like clear the, the negativity. Reading and researching is another major thing I do. And I'll, yeah, I'll just research something that I'm really like passionate about. Smell that reminds you of childhood. I love this. <laughs> Britney Spears, fantasy. It was in the really pink, quite cheapy looking bottle. Lynx, obviously. Every like F boy in the school was wearing Lynx and I just fancy them all. <laughs> Quickly name two female icons that come to your head right now. Emma Watson, Greta Thunberg. What is getting the coil like? I've got the Marina coil, which lasts for five years. Mine has hormones it puts hormones into your body it stops or lessens the blood so like my periods are pretty much non-existent i kind of I don't like the idea of putting hormones into my body and oh my god the process of putting it in was awful it was horrible i don't think i could do it again it's basically like a plastic tea that they shove up into your uterus when they put it up it's like this into your uterus and then they have to flip it it's a pain that i've never felt before or experienced i just did it at uni with the the uni nurse and it was so quick but yeah it was horrifically painful what are some of your favorite tv shows i have so many i'm quite obsessed with watching tv series but ones that made me feel empowered um as a woman would be queen's gambit if you haven't seen it the story is centered around a female chess player who outsmarts so many men you should see the places they play in the soviet union I'm planning on it. You have to get past me first. I'm planning on that too. Euphoria. Oh my god, Euphoria I think might be my favourite series now. And there are female characters in this series that have their own episode dedicated to their kind of backstory. So many relatable situations and it's all like with the backdrop of like growing up when social media is is a thing oh there's just so many girls that i can really relate to and it wasn't just her body that changed but the rest of the world too well, look at you all grown up and give me a hug you really filled out sassy cast <laughs> <laughs> i bet you got all the boys wrapped around your feet jane the virgin oh i love jane the virgin so much if you've seen it, comment down below and tell me who your favourite character is. Mine is Rogelio de la Vega. Rogelio de la Vega. Does everyone like my, my bisexual sticker? Also talking of, um, there's some bisexual representation in that series. The first couple of seasons of Orange is the New Black. Oh, I was obsessed. This was a good few years ago when I watched it. Pussy, the character. End of the effing world. Don't want to swear. It's such a good series. The girl's called Alicia, which I always get mistaken for. Everyone thinks my name's Alicia, and it's really quite annoying. But the character Alicia in End of the Effing World is a uh, she's a uh, she's quite quite unique. I really like her though. What was your first time having sex like? I don't think sex needs to be such an uncomfortable topic. I don't like that it is because then it means that we don't talk about things and that's when there's potential for someone to be like really broken by a bad sexual experience. My first time was um, in Italy and the guy wasn't particularly nice about it. I just got so swept up by the fact that it was gonna happen and he was the first guy that I had very strong feelings for. I was in agony and I remember I got a bit of a uh, blood on his bed and he had a go at me. He fulfilled the Italian stereotype that like Italian men are not particularly nice. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. I think it's time to conclude. I've revealed plenty. Um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this Q&A, this girly, empowering, taboo topic video. I post every Wednesday and every Friday. Yeah. All right. <laughs>